Hello, Brother Monroe here, still streaming away with Alpha 12 uh, on release day over on Twitch. But uh, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be, uh, well, probably Saturday, if I can get the uh, release schedule right. Anyway, whenever you're watching this, welcome back. Um, the next hull to have a look at is the very interesting, um, or hopefully very interesting, Russian... Modern Battlecruiser, uh, which is available in 1929. And for a Battlecruiser, we're going to go up against something very similar to what we went up against last time, just a mixture of ships so that I, you know, we get to see the, the thing avoid torpedoes and take, you know, use its secondary guns and stuff like that. So I'm going to lower the range a little bit to 20, just to make the video a bit easier. <laughs> what? Bjorn, I have no idea why Automod banned that, but yeah. <laughs> hello there, Sir Melodia Sins. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. We're going to look at the Russian modern battlecruiser, the Yekaterinburg. It's uh, quite long. Very long. Oh my. Okay. What's the flip? Triangular tower. My goodness me. <laughs> okay. So we've got three of those. Triangular tower. One, two, and... Th sorry, two, three, and four. Interesting. I love all like, the little cranes and... Stuff like that. Interesting design. Okay, stat-wise, um, again, I'm mostly look, just looking at base. Oh, I'm just going to go with the Triangular Tower 2. Save on weight a bit. Secondary Towers, we've got this one, which we've seen before, and this one, which we've seen before. This one, which I saw on the Japanese ships. And this one, which I think is unique. Well, I don't don't think I've seen this one before. The light secondary tower. So, I'm going to bring the light secondary tower to. Definitely gives the superstructure a pretty nice appearance. Again, a lot of, a lot of deck space on this ship. And like most of the Russian ships, it seems to want its tower quite far forward, which is interesting. Okay. Um, let us get things on the go. How much smoke do we have to play with? 57.5. Tall funnel 10? Okay. <laughs> That's a new one. I don't remember a part being... I don't remember a funnel 10 before, but okay. Uh, I'm going to go with funnel 9 because otherwise it's going to be too smoky. Um, weird. Weird looking thing. The light secondary is upscale from destroyers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Um, stat wise, they're not bad. They're the best. I think. Yeah, they're the best stat wise. And pretty lightweight. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting option. Right, guns, uh, it's probably going to be 16s again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Let me try out these new barbettes. So we've got medium one. Thank you very much for the follow there. Uh, Shin... Jokuzi? Shin no. Shinju Kazuki. Is that right? Please shout at me if I'm wrong. Okay, there's a lot of different barbettes here. Three three these three what these three here all seem new. Interesting. Okay. Uh I, with so with my sixteens. 
How do they how do they look on these? See that just looks wrong. <laughs> that looks wrong too. But this one standards look alright. I'm just wondering why you would See, one thing I've not I'm not sure about. So it goes one, two, three. They get heavier, they get more expensive. But otherwise, nothing seems to be much different between these. I'm just curious if the medium superimposed barbet three offers superior protection or not. Um I can't I genuinely do not know. It's just a suspicion. Hmm, very interesting. Anyway, um, Bobette setup. Looks like we're using standards. That's going to look really crowded on the front. Might go for a really weird build with this, which normally happens with the Russian ships. Let's go for. Now it is a battle cruiser, so I stick to my own rules. Maybe go with something like that? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Got a bit of an half weight offset, that's fine. Um, let's get a secondary gun. Shooting over the top. Mm, go with it. What guns fit? Fit sixes somewhere. Yeah, it could fit a six here. Yeah, okay. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Again, I know it's weird to kind of do that, but it sort of works. Actually, I wonder. Will that fire over the top of the turret? It will. It shouldn't, but it will. <laughs> okay. I can work with that. Um, are there any other fun places you can fit these? Because sometimes there are. No. Okay. Any more fun places for guns? Oh, fives. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go five inch on the secondaries then, so they're unified. Lovely stuff. Uh, maybe threes. Nope. Twos. Oh, single twos. If you want, I suppose you can fit them there as well, but not with this type. You probably need the uh, more advanced one. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you know, you need to go for work at the moment. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, super firing secondaries. Why not? It's a weird ship already. It's like a reverse, reverse renowned. Thing. Very strange. Okay. Um, right. Engine efficiency is pretty low right now. Let's go balanced. How fast can we go on a balanced boiler? 30 knots. Perfectly acceptable. Right. Get an old diesel, shaft, upgrade the armor, and all the rest of it. Again, it's nothing. Too exciting or unusual. Let's go for anti torpedo four. It's my flash fire chance go with a high TNT. Yeah, we'll go with high TNT again. Uh, let's go with auto loaders this time and electro hydro turrets. Why not? Get all the fanciest things. Still have loads of displacement left. Absolutely tons. Uh, which means armor, right? 
Uh, it's a Russian ship, so that. Why not? Uh, with the... Yes. Or no, <laughs> that's silly. Um, very silly. Really? <laughs> what do I have to do to get... Oh, my word. Okay. That That's a well-armored... <laughs> That's a... My. Okay. Right. <laughs> sure. 20-inch belt. That's fine. That's normal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's totally not crazy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Russian abomination. There's a lot, Noel, of new Russian hulls. <laughs> Russians get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these <laughs> new hulls. Um, actually, I'm noticing the AI is taking longer to think about what it's building. Let's judge the AI today. So... How will they fare against the mighty Gekaterinburg? Hmm. Let's go turn around and firing. It's just an odd looking ship. <laughs> it really is. I don't know why my Russian ships end up being backwards, <laughs> but they do. <laughs> uh, I kind of like it. Okay, let's go and have a look at the AI designs. This will be their... Battle cruiser, I suppose. Lots and lots and lots of secondaries. Heavy cruiser looks very nice. Light cruiser looks a bit off balance, but cool Q turret. And I can't see the destroyer. Bum ba ba da 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 have I done the Russian Super Battleship yet? No, I have not. This is the Russian Modern Battle Cruiser. Available from 1929. Wait till we get some IDs on those enemies over there. No hope of... Well, um, you mean gun-wise, yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of forward firepower. But um, as a ship to kind of kite away from enemies. Probably pretty good at that. Let's see what the AI is up to. Again, it does seem like they're coming in. They definitely have the advantage in numbers. So it makes sense. IDs yet? About 50%, 60%. Oh, we can have a quick look at the destroyer. Um, that's. Apart from this torpedo launcher being, I think, completely unable to fire. Interesting. Interesting little ship. Secondaries are on the go. Good morning, Praetorianus. How are you doing? Modern and 1929 seem like oxymoron. You'd think so, but remember in the Ultimate Admiral timeline, the 1930s, the tech kind of levels off a bit. Um, a little bit. 
and uh, you know you get most of the fun toys before the end of the game. Like there's not much unlocked between 1935 and 1940 for instance. Um, or at least not at the moment. So yeah, this is definitely a late game ship. It's not a... Well, mind you, we don't know what the um, campaign's going to be like, but yeah, Ultimate Admiral kind of has three eras to it. Um, you've got the pre-Dreadnoughts, you've got the early Dreadnoughts slash First World War, uh, and then you have the late game modern ships. Okay, we've got the Bridgeport. Okay, minimum bulkheads, quite fast, armor's okay. Nine inch chew powder guns with heavy shells. Interesting concept. We have the Virginia, bit of a cruiser killer, many bulkheads. 12 inch Luddite, yeah, this is like a cruiser killer ship. Uh, and the Amsterdam, which many bulkheads, 7 inch guns, that's a pretty nasty light cruiser. Slow, which is a bit of a failing. Okay. All the guns firing merrily away. We can see now we've taken a couple of fire hits. Ah, and it says it there. Six fires, 25 damage. Okay. That's really nice. That's really nice. That and that is I didn't I hadn't checked that before. That is exactly where I would look to see fire damage and if I was causing any problems. Show you on the enemy ships if they're on fire. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but only if they're identified, of course. Still trying to take down the amps there. I uh, also have the Ford uh, standard bulkhead destroyer. Okay. Not bad. Alright. Uh, all guns on the bridge port, which is getting very close. Those 9 inch guns might do something because they do have two better. Oh, missed. There we go. Overpen. Okay, so he's. Oh, it just tells me they have a fire. Doesn't tell me how much damage they're taking due to fires. That's good. Oh, this tells you how much damage you have taken from fires. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, nope, this is not user scenarios. It's just me uh, going through all the new hulls, um, showing them off, what they can do, that sort of thing. Yeah, interwar. Um, I think the interwar and World War Two eras, certainly in Ultimate Admiral, are pretty much the same. Because there's no... Like, the ships get bigger and more powerful and stuff, but it's definitely a... Like, you get the 16-inch guns and then you get the bigger stuff at effective tech levels, but... Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I don't think it's a problem on my end. I'm sorry to say. I think it is your internet. Um, <laughs> because, uh, yeah. No, nope, I haven't even dropped 1%. Of frames so far, which is actually pretty good for my connection, so yeah, I don't think it is my end, sorry. Yes, all this will be on YouTube as well, so and at a higher resolution than it is on Twitch, so uh, I'm not capable of streaming <laughs> at proper resolution. Um, so YouTube videos are at 1440, um, but uh, Twitch, I think I'm 720. <laughs> Sorry, I will blame my dyslexia. 
It's very hard for me to pronounce a word that I've only seen written correctly. I bounced off their armor. Interesting. Ford goes down pretty fast to those five inch guns. Okay. Oh, there we go. Big hits on the Virginia and a flash fire. But she's not dead. Okay, that's maybe an effect of the flash fire rebalancing. Because it was only a 12 inch gun, of course. Like, the ship is crippled from that flash fire. All her engines are down, the fire's everywhere. 16 fires. She's taken. And another flash fire finishes her off. <laughs> okay, just that light cruiser to go then. Seems a little harsh, but the Amsterdam is over there. This thing can turn pretty well. I'm noticing. Pleased by the performance of this ship. Um, five inch guns haven't done badly at all. Pretty much wrecked that destroyer by themselves. And 16 inch guns are as brutal as they always have been. Oh my. HE hit. And down she goes. Well, there we go. One brand new Russian modern battle cruiser. Hmm. I like it. I like it. If you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new ship. Uh, those of you on Twitch, we're going to take a look at another new ship. Um, and uh, we'll go for one of the minor nations next, I think. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.